Imagine this, a young boy, no older than nine, asking his father why they aren't rich. His father, a well-educated man with a secure job, simply responds, we can't afford it. The boy, not satisfied with this answer, seeks advice from his friend's father, a wealthy businessman with no formal education. The businessman, seeing the boy's curiosity, decides to teach him about money. This is the tale that unfolds in Robert Kiyosaki's book, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Embracing the teachings of his rich dad, Kiyosaki learned to view money not as an obstacle, but as a tool. His poor dad, despite holding a high-ranking government job and a doctoral degree, struggled financially. His rich dad, on the other hand, had a different approach to wealth. He believed in the power of financial education, investing, and entrepreneurship as the key to financial independence. The book challenges conventional wisdom about money. Rather than working for money, Kiyosaki's rich dad advised him to make money work for him. He emphasized the importance of assets over liabilities. An asset puts money in your pocket while a liability takes money out. Many people, he noted, mistake their home for an asset when in reality, it is a liability. Kiyosaki's rich dad also stressed the significance of financial intelligence. Financial intelligence, he explained, is not about how much money you make, but how much money you keep. It's about understanding taxes and knowing the difference between an asset and a liability. It's about growing your wealth and protecting it. The book further highlights the value of entrepreneurship. Kiyosaki's rich dad believed in building and owning businesses rather than being an employee. He taught Kiyosaki that the fear of losing money is what keeps most people working at a job. The real entrepreneur, however, is a risk taker who learns from failure and uses it as a stepping stone to success. To sum up, Rich Dad, Poor Dad teaches us that financial education, investing, and entrepreneurship are crucial to achieving financial independence. It encourages us to shift our mindset from working for money to making money work for us. It urges us to understand the difference between assets and liabilities and to increase our financial intelligence. Lastly, it inspires us to embrace entrepreneurship, to take risks, and to learn from our failures. In essence, Rich Dad, Poor Dad is not just a book about money. It's a book about mindset. It's about breaking free from the fear of losing money and the conventional wisdom that keeps us trapped in the rat race. It's about stepping into the world of financial independence and wealth creation. It's about becoming the masters of our money, not its slave. It's about becoming, as Kiyosaki's rich dad would say, financially intelligent.